Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Son's Real Tech Mod Pack. This episode I'm going to show you something slightly different than normal. Uh, I hope it is anyway. And we're going to go and um, do some grinding of guardians, but not the normal way. So let's get started. I've got to go over to the ocean base and I will see you there. Right, here we are. So let's start with this one. What I'm going to use, let's get it set up first of all, and then we'll go back and say what I've been doing. So let's press them. Um, so in this chest here, I've got some bits and pieces we're going to use today. All of this lot. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of the stuff that I've got on me at the moment. Just put it in this, just put it in this dump chest up here. And I think I did want something from here. Probably ladders, I think. And this definitely, because it's cold. It's winter, as we have maybe you've noticed. It's still snowy out there. So let's get the stuff out of this chest that I want. It's basically all these bits and pieces. Um, well, not actually not this one. <laughs> that was just a bit of an experiment to see what was actually. I didn't even need this either for that matter. So I do. I need a draw control. I don't need a slave draw control. I want this lot. So let's go and set it up. So yeah, I don't think you've been around here very much. Well, this one is. How's he got out of there? <laughs> we'll just sort him out first of all. Oh. If I can get him, that is. Oops. Got it. Right. So, as you as you notice, the train's still running along and still dropping stuff into there. That's good. There are a few guardians up here, so let's kind of look at those. As you see, they are they're spawning inside this chamber here, which I've created. It's actually two chambers. It was because I was doing a little experiment. So let's first of all set up the, the grinding part of these. So we're going to use bees. Strangely enough, we're going to use bees. How about that? So I've got the stuff prepared that I want. So let's got a wooden storage crate here, which I'm going to put on top of this hopper here. And that will actually take all the items out of here. So if I put any item in there, it'll get taken and put out. So we can put this in there. It'll disappear away and it'll end up in the pipe, which we'll come and do next. So beside this, I always put the hive or the apiary in this case, like that. And then we need to extract the items out of the apiary, so we'll use the um, extracting conveyor belt. I use the covered one. Then we've got no chance of things getting out out past it, so like that. And then we want to have a uh, item router here at the end. Get in my hand, that is. And then we just feed the items back into here. Now, what you don't have, uh, a dropping conveyor belt, you can't cover these. That's interesting. I didn't know that. Try again, shift this time. And again, and then we can do, do the next two, wrong one, pick the wrong one. Uh, pick X, yes. Like that. Now we just need to put a B in here like this. I put a, I've got a heroic queen. <laughs> we'll have a look at that in a minute. And I've got some drones. We don't worry about the drones for the time. We'll have a look at what actually happens. You'll see now they're taking damage. Uh, they take about uh, one heart of damage every, I suppose, 10 seconds or something. Maybe less, actually. And that and that will kill them. Fantastic. <laughs> and it's the bees which are doing that. So now we just set up the rest of this. So what I need to do here is I need to put a, uh, a draw controller in this corner like that. And we'll put into this the hopper here. Because you And here we should have... Oops, wrong way around. Take it off again. I was going to just look at it. In fact, I didn't do that. So we've got that draw hop in that draw key in there. So let's just put this in here like that. And then that will go into the controller. And then we just need to put some uh, storage drawers down here. And I think I need to put down nine. So I'll do that. And then we want uh, an extracting conveyor belt out of here. In fact, it's probably, I'm not sure I got the other one, isn't it? Yes. And then we've got in here, we put a chest, doesn't matter what. So basically it's the same principle as I did last time. So what we'll do is we'll remove this out of here. I would like them to go in the order that I want them to go in. So let's just get rid of these. Oh, actually that'll do. So we've got fish, prismarine shards, and we then start to get these things out. So let's just lock up these three. I've got to lock up these so I don't take anything out of it by accident. So anything with something in will let it lock up. Like that. 
and the last one we don't lock up so anything that everything else goes into this chest and there will be other things that come out of here obviously we get these and what i'm going to do with these is i'm going to put on these um avoid upgrade because i don't really want any more plasters or bandages or whatever but i'm not sure where the next one's going to come in let's do it like that i think and then we'll quantify these of course that's always a good idea put the quantify key on here now in this pack we've got something that allows me to access the hopper where normally you can't uh, from a hopper you can't get past it and this one we can actually access the storage door so we right click that and then we see how much we've got in here already seven prismary charts okay that's pretty good um is that it no not quite i need to go and put a lid on this So all this is here, I've got a builder's wanted with me, so that'll help. We just climb up these ladders. Now I've used Tinker's Glass on here. Now you can put ladders on Tinker's gla um, Glass. You can't normally do, but in this one you can. So I do need two buckets and I haven't got the buckets with me. I have to go down and get those again. So we'll, we'll set up this first of all. No, I need to put the buckets down first, don't I? Um, right, I'll go and get those and come back in a second. Right, I've got the buckets. As <laughs> I was getting the buckets and more uh, guardian spawn, we want to get up to Y63. So I've got to get three more levels on this. So let's start. I'll show you what I've been doing to do that. Fairly straightforward, actually. I'll break some of this ice here because we don't need the ice. It doesn't do any harm, but we don't need it for this case. So we'll take a, a bucket because we need the buckets and we'll fill up this. So basically, all I'm being doing is filling up the two corners here like that, uh, picking up the middle one. And then we can then fill in the rest of it. And I think you just need about four. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, no, we need five buckets to do this particular bit. Like that. I think that makes it... No, oh, one more. I probably did one in the wrong place. There we go. So now it's covered over and ready. And it starts to freeze up with ice because it's winter time. <laughs> I think that's just hilarious. So we can do the one over here as well. Let's see if I can do it better this time. I think here and then one more over here. And the last one on this corner and then that finishes it off. And then we go up another layer. Now obviously you've got snow on top of this and I don't know whether the builder's one is going to let me do it. It looks like it might do. No, not the right type of block. So I've got to get rid of all this snow. And I can use the builder's one for doing that. So you can then press on that then it's actually done most of those which is good and we walk around here i should have brought some i should have made some slime boots shouldn't i from tinker's construct because it's if i fall off here i'll probably die because <laughs> i i do have with me my nope my glider is elsewhere in fact this is all i've been doing so I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll finish this off now with uh, and come back when it's at level 63. So we've got what, two more levels to go. I'll see you in a few minutes. Well, I ran out of glass blocks. Just just one level, just a few short. Very irritating. But what I'll do now is I'm going to put on these. I'm going to put slabs. Well, I've got some stone here. I've got ice here. That's actually convenient. I reckon I can put the slabs on the ice like this <laughs> without having to go back one block and just do it that way. So that's quite convenient. Didn't realise that. And then we can cover this up. And then the, the ice won't freeze anymore, which will help with the Guardian spawning. So just do that like that. On this side, well, I suppose I can do the same thing, can't I, for the time being, until I come back to base and make some more Tinker's, tinkers Glass. Now, Tinker's Glass, as I said already, was it's actually quite a useful glass. Although the fact it's clear and you can see through it perfectly, it, it doesn't. you can break it with a pickaxe and you can put ladders on it, which you can't do with normal glass. Like that those will still freeze and i'll fix that off later on uh, i need to put some more ladders down here hopefully i can't reach <laughs> maybe i can't we'll see i should be able to let's have a look can i get that one but the bottom one yes i can good so i can safely go down here 
Actually, it's always tricky going down ladders, first of all, so you just go forwards and then backwards, like that. Make sure you land on it. So that's most of the construction done. But underneath here, I was debating about something. Let's go down here. What I've got here is soul sand. In fact, I don't need soul sand here. Um, but I don't have anything to break it with. I can break it with a hand anyway. What I can do here, oh, as I can put lay, um, signs, the signs up here, will prevent the water dropping down. That's fairly well known. Um, soil sand, I was, I was used to testing with soil sand, and I also tested with magna block, blocks here, to see whether or not it has any special properties. I know in 113 they do have some special properties. Oops, that was a bit strange. And I need to fill in this hole so that they don't, the guardians don't fall out. That's why I was a bit surprised last time. Where did they disappear to? I broke them, didn't I? <laughs> oh no, I didn't. They got picked up by the hoppers, didn't they? And they got shoved down into here. Yeah. I haven't locked that one, so I could take those off there safely. So now all we have to do, this is actually finished, is to move out of the way. Like that. I'll have to get some more glass and to come back. So these heroic bees, I haven't shown you those yet. Um let me go and get my stuff back in the in here. And we can also right click this out of the way, like this. So we should get rid of that prismarine shard that I had picked up for some reason or other. And I've got some ice ice in here now. I don't want the ice in there either. Um if they go anywhere they'll end up in here. Like that. I also noticed that my train stopped when I was doing this as well because it's just here. And the reason it stops is normally it's because a um, a squid falls down. I could send it off again. Falls down and it gets blocked on the sieve. So what up, a squid, a sieve. So let's just go in here now. We should get a few more guardians spawning in the time in the time I'm here. And it's also warmer in here. Not that it matters too much because I do have my portable temp temperature regulator, which helps a lot. Um, I think I keep this in here like that. I do at the moment. Good. So unless I wanted to get the stuff out of this chest, didn't I? And we'll put away those keys until late later on. I don't need them for the time being. You can hear the, you can hear that running around. I've got the, I'm just using hopper ducks for the rest of this anyway, and I actually set up a sorting rule so I can sort my stuff in the way I want it to be sorted in. So this one's the forestry setup. So I've got my apris stuff up here. And um, now, what did I want to show you? Yes, I know. I want to show you the the bees. These bees are heroic bees. Let's take one of those out and just analyse one, and you'll see that it's got some properties in here. So it's got a long lifespan. It produces slowly. We don't really mind about that because we're not after the after the produce. The pollination is fast and it uses flowers. It produces four offspring, which is great. It's got an average ter territory, which is normal. And then it's got this effect, heroic. Now, heroic, the effect of heroic is basically it grinds mobs. And it's diurnal and nocturnal, so it basically will run night and day for us. Let's go and put this one back into the hive, if I can reach the hive, actually. And you see, just in the time I was here, there was two more guardians. Just, well, just got ground. Let's see what happens. So we can get up here. Oh, that was for this, wasn't it? <laughs> that was for the um, XP, because XP should collect in here, like that. So I know what I have to do to get up here. I have to go this way. And then we can just jump across here, I think, like that. And we can put it to the hive, this one. We've got another drones in here, which is for 50, and I've got this one I can put in here. And that'll, that'll actually remove the... That'll use been used next time, and then the next ones will go around. Any excess ones will end up in here, and then, of course, come back down to the... into here. So let's go back. Can't do that. What I've been using the prismarine for is actually to extend this bit. So all this has been made from the bee-generated prismarine, uh, and we've got 13 of those now. Still, we've got two of these plasters again. So it goes on. And I think... Well, there's one thing I didn't show you. 
so far is this this but draw button key it literally is just a button <laughs> I'm not quite sure if it's got any special uses but it's just a button with a key on it and it's a bit bigger than a Minecraft button and I think that's about it for that let's go and have a look outside again because it's been a while and I've finished off the um, um, the tank and I've also put these down and then we, as you can see what we're actually getting are these type of this type of loot of course I'm getting um, uh, ink sacks um, and all these and I'm getting cones and, and and in here we'll end up with some bees heroic bees which is um, great and just leave it for a while and I didn't really explain any of this there's nothing special here it's just just pipes going from hoppers you have to put a hopper at the end of a hopper duct for it to actually feed anything into it and it'll end up in here go down there as you already see let's have a look at this I've finished off the, the glass but of course it's not been spring yet so the the ice in here will, has not melted yet, but there is a squid, <laughs> and he will probably get killed by a, or ground by a, a guardian, a guardian probably spirits born in there, and that will sort him out. I think there's actually a way to make them force them down, but I, I'm not sure whether guardians, this ice up here will actually melt. What I wasn't sure about, and I was, I'd talked about this before, didn't I? I didn't say anything about it, with these <clears throat> signs, the advantage with the signs is that the mobs fall down into this space and they can't get back up again which means that the, the bees can grind them more quickly uh, as opposed to this the soul sand here the soul sand we can it's strange that the bees will actually go through the soul sand i also tried magma blocks as i said before but the bees won't go through the magma blocks it doesn't grind the mobs so let's just uh We'll look at that one more time from back here. It looks actually quite impressive with a load of mobs in here. I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll just come back here and come back in a second when I've actually got... And as you can see, I've got moved out of the way for a few seconds and came back in and you'll see that they're all getting nicely uh, ground. In fact, the squid, I did think, actually got ground for a second or two by the attacked, at least, by the uh, guardians. But there is a glass block between here, these two. And the only thing I have done, because the, the bee itself has not got... Um, look at it from up here you'll see that hole in fact actually it's a glass block and above underneath that glass block is the hive and you need that because otherwise you can't see in fact if i go up here oh it's gone dark of course so look maybe i can see it from here oh oh yes of course it is the hive you can't see it <laughs> because they've got the hop a dropping hopper on top of it, uh, dropping. It needs that so that the bees can actually see where I am standing now. I can actually see daylight, and that works even with that thing uh, flying around. That's another the squid just dying. I get a lot of actually getting quite a lot of produce from here, even though I'm not here very often. As you can see, not so much, but I haven't done anything smart with things like um, mob grinding utilities in this one. I thought oh, I've done a lot of that before, so I'll see how it goes on. With the looting one, it probably would make a difference. So that is it for this episode. Well, I'm gonna, what I have done over Christmas and New Year is to get the Merry and the Tipsy Bee, which we can have a look at next time. But really, next time, what I'm going to do is some more immersive petroleum stuff. Um, get started with that. Uh, you might have even noticed around the base. Well, maybe not. Uh, there were a few samples around. So until then, I wish you all the best. Bye for now.